Nice hotels come with Bibles, <laughs> and this comes with questions about their their Veda Buddhism. Okay, today is the day that we leave for Phuket. We got up island board. island board. So we're just gonna we were gonna go to the coffee shop next door. We have to hang out there for a while because checkout is at twelve, and we're not leaving for the airport until three. <laughs> is it good? So good. It's like the stuff that they put in tom yum soup, but they put it in rice. Yeah. Most popular? Muay Thai. Thai boxing. Thai boxing. Okay. Yeah. My thing also. Really? Yes. Wow. Yeah, that's yeah, how you know. Yeah, I, I read about it. <laughs> that's the whole bamboo chip. Happened, babe. I'm stupid. <laughs> You're not stupid. We were waiting in line to get food um, after finding your gate. Uh, because there wasn't a lounge for us. And as we were waiting, Carlos looked at his phone and realized the flight doesn't take off at 5, it lands at 5, it takes off at 3.10, it takes off at 3.45, and at that point it was 4.10. So we realized we had missed our flight, so in a super quick dash, we left the security, came downstairs, went through all this stuff to find that we could buy another flight to Phuket from Bangkok for about $80, under $80, for the both of us, and it leaves in about two and a half hours. <laughs> And we had already gotten our food too, so we were just standing there with our food. And we know we can't go through security with the food, so we have to eat it. I'm a sweaty American. Yeah. <laughs> and and the annoying thing is, we couldn't get new tickets in the terminal. We had to leave, go backwards through security, get a flight at the very beginning. So now we have to go through security all over again. Even food from an airplane terminal here in Bangkok is so good. This chicken is like the crispiest, most delicious fried chicken I've ever had. And the kimchi is amazing. Salad is great. How does the Burger King taste? Like Burger King. Like Burger King. Oh, that's nice. I'm leaving here very soon. Bathtub. So maybe this is the correct room. We're literally five minutes from the beach right now. Like we could walk outside and walk for like a couple minutes and basically be there. So um, that's exciting. This is the alleyway that we went through last night to get to our hotel. And oh my God, it is just so quiet now. But last night it was like bang and loud. It was like a battle. Yeah, it looks like there was like a battle back here. I don't know. Oh yes, that is definitely for sure an actual Louis Vuitton purse. The spirits of the people here are so high. <laughs> you walk by and they're like, save water, drink beer, get out of the AC, come on in. Like they just are trying to market to you so, so much and it's just funny. More closed down restaurants. Closed 7-Eleven, closed clubs, all these places. Closed, closed, closed. <laughs> After about 15, 20 minutes of walking, we finally found food. The, the same. They're the same. same. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this yeah, all is from the dry. Oh, yeah. And okay. some people don't, don't need dry, some people need dry it. Let's see. Okay, dragon fruit or lime? Lime. Alright, so this is the area that you go to to eat. It's like an outside cafeteria. Well, it sure is warm here in Phuket. <laughs> it cools off pretty nicely once the sun starts coming. Yeah. Out. Thank you, Captain Kat. Okay. It's very good. And you? It was good? It was perfect. No spice. Thank you. Thank you. All of the bars are sex themed and they're just filled with hookers all day. And then nearing towards the night, you can see it starts filling up with men. 
<laughs> yeah, it's not definitely not a place to bring your children, that's for sure. Feels like everyone comes, watches the sunset, and then goes to yeah. party. Yeah, pretty much. Which... The, before noon, there's like nothing going on here. No, like all the restaurants are closed down, it's empty. The last couple of times that we were in Thailand, we had heard prior that Thailand is like, you know, the land of smiles and blah, blah, blah. And we were really excited to see that. But the last couple of times we came, we were kind of like, why is it called that? Like, really they seem like really sick of foreigners and I don't know, whatever. But I think what happened was they were just so burnt out by the annoying Europeans and Americans and all the Canadians and like everybody of all nationalities coming to Thailand and just being like rude and taking advantage and stuff. And I think these two years of them losing the tourists has given them almost like a vacation from us because this time around, they seem genuinely happy that we're here. Like people stopping us and not even trying to sell us anything, just asking us like, you know, is it, where are you from? And like, is it your honeymoon? And, and like asking how our day was. Like if we see them in the morning and then the night again, they're like, oh, how's your day? Like, blah, blah, blah. Um, I don't know, they just seem really happy we're here, which is great because I don't want to be anywhere that people are like annoyed with me being. <laughs> Thanks for watching our travel vlog day from Bangkok to Phuket. We have a video releasing very soon describing our experiences here in Phuket, so stay tuned. If you've enjoyed today's video, please consider subscribing, tapping that notification bell, and finding us on Instagram, TikTok, and Patreon, where we post our favorite travel photos, vlogs, and other fun activities. We post new YouTube videos every Wednesday at 6 p.m. MST, but recently we've been uploading twice a week, so check us out. We're here to stay. We hope you have a wonderful day, and remember, never stop searching for awe.